everyone welcome to the ranger shop let's talk superchargers today um, let's go for a drive and we'll talk about it a bit so as you know uh, I've got a 2002 Ranger it's got the 4 liter sock on it um, it's got about 150,000 kilometers so I, I, I would consider that quite low um, I've got the standard transmission. I did a standard transmission swap in it. The manual transfer case, because I don't like the electronics. I like it nice and simple, straightforward. I've been debating what to do, honestly. I've got my trailer, and I love this truck, but when I get on a, a steep grade, or when, um, you know, we're trying to pass somebody when, I'm got, when I have my trailer, it's just very difficult. You know the, these Rangers, they don't really make much power. I think to the wheels, you're probably looking at what, 170 horsepower or something, not much at all. So then I was debating a, a five liter swap. Uh, do I put a five liter in, in my truck? You know, a, a, an Explorer swap. Pretty common, actually there was one that came up on Kijiji. I went and looked, looked at it. Uh, it was all there, but the engine had uh, about 300,000 kilometers on it. So I'm going from a 160,000 kilometer engine to 300,000 kilometers. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, I've already done the timing chain tensioners. I've resealed the whole engine. I've put in a oil pump, uh, you know, water pump, thermostat housing, you name it, it's been done. Whatever needed to be done to this sock. So, my concern is is that I go and throw this uh, five liter in there, but now I'm going to have to rebuild that, and, and I've got a, this older motor. And then another concern that I had was these five liters, the five liter swaps, the Explorer transfer cases are all wheel drive. So now you got to get an adapter and put a transfer case on there, or you you can swap to a manual. Uh, five speed maybe out of a, an F-150 and put a five uh, manual uh, transfer case on there from an F-150 but anyways you're talking about a lot of work and then in the end to match up your pats with the donor vehicle make sure that's good to make sure that you've got your uh, speedometer working uh, AC like all these things that just you know they don't really match up so I was looking at it to buy the vehicle, like even just a, an old Explorer with a five liter, you're, you're looking at like a thousand dollars at least for a, a clapped out engine. Then you gotta get it rebuilt or you gotta do something to it. So you're looking at like probably another couple thousand dollars for that. Do it yourself probably a couple thousand dollars. And then you've got to go overcome all the other stuff. So now I'm buying an F-150 transmission. I'm buying an F-150 transfer case, shortening up my drive shafts. There's so much work to make a five liter work. So I decided I'm going to go with a supercharger. There's a couple kits on the market. And the one that I liked the best was a Modbox kit. So if you, you look it up, Modbox, uh, Sock, single overhead cam supercharger you'll find uh, they make quite a few different uh, for the Mustang they do it for the Ranger for the Explorer anyways I bought the Ranger kit and it comes as a nice kit I'm gonna show it to you here in a minute but it's a really nice kit like it comes uh, the manifolds themselves are well machined it's not just like some slapped together aluminum box they're really well machined and really nice finishes on them. So let's try, talk about the kit. So the kit comes with a fuel pump because you got to bump your fuel pump a little bit because you're 
you're going to be duty cycling your injectors a little more we can talk about that a little more in the installation it uses uh, the older super coupe superchargers so you can buy you know the thunderbird super coupes so they had a, a couple different superchargers they had a, a round port and a square port depending on the year 94 95 i believe give you a square port anyways i picked up a round port and uh it it cost me what uh, i think 300 bucks so 300 dollars they're everywhere these superchargers i called down at the record they had a couple sitting down there i think they wanted 450 for theirs but i mean that's because they're, they're giving you a warranty and everything with it so i'm gonna i'm gonna rebuild the supercharger and then i'm gonna mount it on this thing and and what's the benefit what does it give me well in the end it should give me roughly 50 horsepower more uh and i don't know i think maybe 60 foot pounds of torque but when you're only dealing with 160 uh, horsepower to start with, it's actually pretty good. So it, it is expensive, but when I was adding up all the costs to do the five liter swap, it's gonna be still cheaper. And I get to keep my truck the way I like it, you know, with my manual transfer case, with my manual transmission and all the new clutch I put into it. Everything's, this, you know, the same. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna start that project and this is the part one to that project. I just kind of wanted to explain why I went with a supercharger and then we can get into it. So to make a supercharger work, what I'm doing is I'm gonna be installing an air fuel gauge. I'm gonna mount that on my column, air fuel gauge. And then um, basically other than that, there's the fuel pump that comes with it but you don't have to tune because I'm only gonna be putting out three and a half PSI boost. So it's very low boost. But because it's a low boost, your computer through your math can actually compensate enough for it. So it can adjust, it can increase the fuel based on that airflow that it's measuring. And then you don't have to have a tune. You're not uh, overly taxing your, your motor. There's some motors with this supercharger kit on it that I was looking through reviews and stuff. They, they put 40,000, 50,000, um, I'm not sure if it's miles or kilometers, but anyways, quite a bit of mileage on their engines and no problem until you start over boosting. Once you start getting up five PSI or up, now you need to cool it. You need to um, provide some kind of uh, a tune for it. There's a lot of different things to, to do. I'm gonna get back home. I've just been on this little road test. I've actually changed the diff fluid in my truck. And so I just wanted to make sure that was good. Part two is gonna be the installation. Part three, we're gonna have um, driving comparisons, you know, like what it's like without the supercharger, what it's like with the supercharger. And we'll check that out. If you've got a Ranger, I highly recommend just uh, subscribing to the channel because we're gonna try and cover a lot of different things for these Rangers. We're doing some modifications and also we're gonna do some just the maintenance day to day along with some off-roading. So follow along, we'll see you in the next video.